Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Xiaomi Pro 4. Xiaomi is a Chinese company that started in 2010, originally with a focus on smartphones, but now they make all manner of products, from scooters to air purifiers. The Mi Air Purifier range came out in 2014, and the Pro 4 is the flagship model that's available in the UK. It has an RRP of £199.99p, but we managed to snag it for £184.99p. We're also going to be comparing the performance of the cheap generic filters are available, so keep watching if you want to know the results for that. Here are the five things I really like about this device and the three things I don't. The first one is it had great air cleaning performance, cleaned our test room of PM1 in 21 minutes. Even when running the device at a fan speed that was lower than 45 decibels, it still managed to clean our test room in 31 minutes. It also has a great looking app with some really interesting scheduling functions and it has some of the lowest running costs of any of the HEPA retail devices we've tested, thanks to its low energy usage and fairly priced OEM filters. It also has an OLED screen and a general modern design that just looks good. Now the things I don't like, performance without the ionizer was much lower than we expected, especially when compared to other devices. And talking about the ionizer, you can't disable with any of the buttons on the screen, you do need to use the app. And finally, there was this strange whirring noise when running this device at night when on auto or sleep mode that only became apparent in the night, it did wake us up and it's something that you should be aware of. Right, let's jump into the full review long-term viewers will know is that the first thing I like to do when reviewing an air purifier is go over to the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to see if a KDAR report exists. Now sadly there isn't a KDAR report for the Xiaomi device, however they do share a KDAR score of 500 M3H which is 294 CFM and this comes from data from the Chinese version of AHAM. Now, based on these KDAR results, we would expect the performance of this device to be similar to something like the Lavoie Core 400S, which managed to clean our test room of PM1 in 22 minutes. Now, let's jump into the design. Now, the Xiaomi Pro 4 has a cylindrical design similar to what we see with the Lavoie Core series, but it definitely looks more modern and slick thanks to the OLED screen at the front of the device. Now there are no buttons that control the device at the front, it's all done from the touchscreen. And you have a couple of options, you have three different fan speeds and an auto mode. Now one unique thing that I thought was quite interesting is it does have a physical button at the back of the device. Now this is not used to control it, but actually change the lights. So you can press it to remove some or all of the lights, which is really good because it means you can run this at any fan speed and remove the lights for running it at night. Now the app itself is really slick, really professional, and is the same app that is seen and used for any Xiaomi smart home device. So if you have many of those other devices, this will be the same app that you will use, which is always good because we don't want more apps in our life. Now some downsides is the OLED screen did lack some functionality that I see with other devices. You can change the fan speed and enable auto mode, but that was about it. For everything else, you will need to use the app. And this includes enabling and disabling ionization. Now the scheduling with this device was really good, especially when compared to say a device like the Philips 3000i, as you can have an end and start date. And overall the app was really easy to use. The overall for this device, the design is great. The app has great functionality, but there are some slight niggles with the amount of functionality you have if you don't want to use the app. The filters used in the Xiaomi Pro 4 are called the Xiaomi High Efficiency Filter and Activated Carbon. Similar to what we saw with Philips, the term HEPA is not used in any of their marketing material, but they do say that it can remove 99.97% of particles of 0.3 microns. However, we talked about this in the Philips review, any non-HEPA grade filter can achieve this level of performance. Xiaomi also say that this has higher airflow than what you see in a HEPA filter, which would suggest to us that it is a lower HEPA grade, which isn't always a bad thing. These filters were used in Philips and in Lavoie, and they actually can have increased performance at removing particles in our test room. The device also includes activated carbon and Xiaomi says it has 650 grams of carbon and it's great to see more manufacturers telling us exactly how much carbon is included. The Xiaomi Pro 4 also has an ionizer but you can disable this through the app. 
let's jump into the exciting part and test the Show Me Pro 4 in our test room. We tested this device in the same 728 cubic feet test room where we've tested over 80 different air purifiers. Using two purple air sensors, we track how quickly it can remove PM1 pollutants from our test room. We tested the Show Me Pro 4 running at its full speed with the ionizer enabled, and it managed to clean our test room of PM1 in 21 minutes. This result matches with the KDAR that Show Me shared, and we can compare this with other devices that are available in the UK. Looking at the table above, it's clear that raw performance running at top speed provides good value with this device, especially when compared to other devices available in the UK. Now we know that some users don't want to use ionization technology, so we made sure to test this device running at top speed without ionization, and it managed to clean our test room in 27 minutes, which was six minutes slower than having ionization enabled, which really surprised us because most of the time when we see ionization used, it adds a couple of minutes at most, which would suggest that maybe this device has a higher powerful ionization than in other devices we've looked at. Whilst air cleaning performance is the most important thing to look for when choosing an air purifier, if it's so loud you don't want to use it, then it's going to be next to useless, which is why when we're reviewing air purifiers, we also record how much sound is generated from three feet away at each fan speed. The Show Me Pro 4 has three default fan speeds, including a sleep mode, so we made sure to track how much sound is generated at each of these fan speeds. Be aware that the background noise in our location is very similar to what we see from the sleep and speed one, so it's likely that these speeds are much lower than our data shows. But we've been recording these sound tests so you can have a listen for yourself. I also made sure to compare these sound levels to other devices we've tested. As you can see in the table, the Show Me Pro 4 benchmarks really well against other devices we've tested, but even at its 51.3 decibels at top speed might be too loud for most people to have running in the background, which is why we use a limit at 45 decibels. This is taken from the Clean Air Stars tool for a noisy classroom or a noisy office. And when we tested this device running at speed two with ionization, it managed to clean our test room in 31 minutes. As you can see in the table, the Show Me Pro 4 is outperformed by the Clean Air Stars Luggable XL and the Smart Air Blast Mini. And the Philips 3000i is slightly quicker at removing particles from the air, but also was louder than 45 decibels. Overall, the Show Me Pro 4 has great performance running at a lower fan speed. Now there is one slight fly in the ointment. When we use this device in our bedroom at night, we discovered that when it's on its auto and sleep mode, there is this strange humming noise that comes up and down. Now I've tried to capture it, but have a listen for yourself. I know that many people will first buy an air purifier for use in the bedroom as it's where we spend most of our time. So I had to be clear about this issue because when we put this device in our bedroom, the strange sound that it made on the auto and sleep mode did actually wake both of us up as it was very different and more invasive than the general hum that we see with most other air purifiers. As part of our reviews, we also look at how much energy is used, which is why we track the amount of energy that's used at each fan speed. And here are the results for the Show Me Pro 4. I have to say, it's really impressive to see these energy results, especially for the performance of this device. If you were to leave this device on top fan speed running 24 seven every day of the year, it would only add an additional $26.91 to your energy bill. And we can compare this to other devices that we've reviewed. We can also compare performance running at sub 45 decibels at speed two for this case. It's only beaten by the Luggable XL from Clean Air Kits. The Show Me Pro 4 is one of the most efficient devices we've looked at today. As with any air purifier, the filters for the Show Me Pro 4 will need replacing eventually. Show Me recommends that you replace the filters for this device every 12 months, and the OEM filters cost £42.99p, which equates to $57.12. Looking at the other HEPA retail devices we've tested, the Show Me Pro 4 has the lowest yearly running costs, thanks to its low energy usage and fairly priced OEM filters. It's only beaten by the Clean Air Kits Luggable, which use commoditized HVAC filters and low energy usage PC fans. 
Before we get into the conclusion about the Xiaomi Pro 4, I also promised that it would test generic filters. Now, due to the popularity of this device in Asia, there are tons of generic filters available. And I bought this particular filter from AliExpress and it was less than 20 quid. So nearly half the price of the OEM filters, but is it worth it? Now, when we tested the device in our test room using the generic filters, it took 27 minutes nearly six minutes slower than using the OEM filters. At first I thought it might be that this device used more carbon, but in fact, this actually has the impregnated fabric and weighed a lot less than the OEM filters. So we can assume that maybe this grade of filter is a lot higher than the one used in the Xiaomi OEM filters. Now, considering that the Xiaomi OEM filters are so cheap, for this device, I would recommend just sticking with OEM. So is the Xiaomi Pro 4 worth it? Well, as our data shows, this is a great air purifier. It has great air cleaning performance at its top speed and even when running at sub 45 decibels. But the standout feature is its really low running costs, thanks to its low energy usage and fairly priced OEM filters. A good comparison to make is with the Philips 3000i. The OEM filters for that device cost £84.99p, whilst the Xiaomi filters are £42.99, which is just incredible of how much cheaper they are for a similar sized filter. Now, the only fly in the ointment is if you didn't want to use ionization, this really does affect performance. So you may want to look at other devices if you don't want to use that function. And the other thing is the strange whining noise that it makes in sleep and auto mode. So for those people wanting to use in the bedroom, again, you may want to look elsewhere. But for situations where the sound isn't an issue, such as in a basement, then you're going to get a really high performing device with a great app, with great scheduling functions and really low running costs. As always, if you have any questions about the Xiaomi Pro 4, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.